Hey guys, what's going on? Spipperix here, back for another LEGO video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at by far the most valuable minifigures that LEGO has ever made. These guys are worth around $2 billion dollars yes that sounds outrageous but stick with me i'll do some explaining later on i'm making this video because on the last video whenever i talked about the super valuable ninjago minifigure that's worth a hundred thousand dollars you guys smash that like button down below we got over 1000 likes in one day which was the like goal which is absolutely phenomenal so if we can do that on this video i'm going to set the like goal at 1000 once again for this series to continue as we look at some really valuable and expensive Lego minifigures. And now let's go ahead and take a look at these minifigures and explain why exactly they're priced at a ridiculous two billion dollar price point. Now these three minifigures are all combined kind of into a set here. They were produced by Lego specifically for NASA and were launched with the Juno spacecraft back in 2011. The spacecraft arrived at Jupiter in 2016 and is going to be in orbit around Jupiter. Jupiter collecting data for NASA until 2021 and it just so happens that these three minifigures are completely made out of aluminum and so they're able to withstand kind of the temperatures and radiation from space they also have a thermal blanket put over them as quoted from the NASA website at the time of production these three minifigures cost the Lego group a total of around $15,000 just to manufacture since they were made out of aluminum and they were pretty custom and so they needed some different sort of molding for the aluminum but we have three different minifigures here so let's go ahead and go through them real quickly because all three of them have some sort of a significance for Jupiter the planet in our solar system the first one here holding on to the lightning bolt this is the interpretation of the Greek god Jupiter of course he is basically the name behind the planet in our solar system pretty cool looking minifigure I really like the design for that lightning bolt there's also Jupiter wife named Juno she is the name of the spacecraft that is orbiting Jupiter collecting the data so it was definitely important for Lego to include her in the mission as well she's holding on to a magnifying glass and lastly the man himself Galileo gets his own minifigure as well he's holding on to a spherical ball Lego piece which is supposed to represent the planet of Jupiter you guys can even see the little divot in there which is for the great red spot or the great storm that is on Jupiter which I think is a cool little touch and he also has a telescope in his left hand in case you're not familiar with Galileo's accomplishments and exactly who he was, he was an astronomer back in the day who discovered the four major moons, or the four largest moons, I should say, of Jupiter, and together today, those are recalled as the Galilean moons, named after him. And interestingly enough, there was actually a fourth minifigure planned, however, it was rejected by NASA, and so there were only these three that went up into space. So now I'm really just sitting here wondering, what was that other minifigure? Whether it was going to be another historical figure or possibly another Greek god or goddess, we can't be 100% sure at this point, but we can make guesses, and so if you have any thoughts of who it may have been, be sure to leave a comment down below. And so it all boils down to the ridiculous price point set at $2 billion. And why in the world is it $2 billion? The last minifigure we checked out was the Wooden Sensei Wu minifigure, which is $100,000 since it was from the Lego Ninjago movie, and you guys can watch that video. However, these are worth crazy amounts more. And why is that? Well, they're in space right now. It's impossible to get these guys back. They're under possession of Lego and NASA. And so even if you were to somehow be able to go out and retrieve these minifigures from the space probe, although that's totally unlikely, it would cost you very roughly around $2 billion to send another space probe out there or spacecraft in order to recover these figures, let alone be able to then bring them home after already getting to Jupiter. It's safe to say that these three minifigures will unfortunately never make it back to their home planet of Earth because after the spacecraft's mission is over in 2021, the spacecraft will most likely enter into Jupiter's atmosphere and be crushed, and of course these minifigures will not survive in that aspect. On the more positive side, there is another set of these three minifigures somewhere in the world. Lego is, I assume, holding on to them, 
for a keepsake. They're not the exact same. In fact, Galileo does not have either of his props, and so it's not the exact same minifigures, and thus they're not the same, which means that the $2 billion price point in order to get these minifigures back is still standing. And so for all you guys wondering, these are by far the most valuable LEGO minifigures that LEGO has ever made and will most likely stay that way until they are destroyed by Jupiter in 2021 when the Juno spacecraft mission is complete. That's going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Of course, if you guys did not already check out my previous video in this sort of series that I'm doing that I talked about the $100,000 LEGO Sensei Wu minifigure, be sure to go ahead and check that out. Oh, and of course, if you did enjoy, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let's hit that 1,000 likes once again on this video, and maybe we'll continue this series talking about some other pretty interesting minifigures. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.